I have an addiction. A pretty serious one. It's not coffee, or sex, or drugs. I've never had a problem with any of those. My one fix is video games. I love them. I get lost in them. I dive in for hours and hours at a time until my wrists hurt so bad that I'm forced to take a break. I've tried to cut down by setting a timer, but when the alarm goes off, I keep playing. Just 30 more minutes. Just 10 more minutes. When I play a game, I enter a world of limitless possibility. I lose myself. I become a totally new person. It gets exhausting being me every minute of every day. I feel like I'm trapped in a cage inside my own head, forced to watch this character I've grown so sick of tell the same tired stories, make the same mistakes. Better to escape entirely and become someone else. Maybe that's why we love getting fucked up. Drugs have the power to transform us into our happier, more confident selves. Some drugs even let us lose those selves altogether. I vividly remember my first mushroom trip. I'm 15, walking in the park. There's a full moon overhead, and I hold an autumn leaf in the palm of my hand, and I watch as the veins come off the leaf and spread across my body and up across the sky, connecting all the stars. I feel this intense connection to the world and an absence of self. I'm part of something inconceivably vast. I'm free. But at some point you fall back into reality. I came down hard and felt like a depressed zombie for the next two days. We can never truly escape from ourselves. Some people can't and won't accept this. All the junkies I've dealt with were running from themselves, from unhappy memories or chronic pain. They wanted to become someone else, and they did. But I doubt it's the someone they wanted to be. It's hard to know when to stop, when too much of a good thing becomes a bad thing, but I don't want it to end. Whether it's a controller or a pipe in my hand, I want to hold on to my eye. I want to soar and fly and be free. I had this recurring dream when I was a kid. It's Halloween. I step out onto my roof and look down anxiously at the yard below. I take a deep breath and I jump. And I fly. I soar effortlessly past the creek and the library and the kids trick-or-treating and all the while I can't stop laughing because I have never felt happier and more free. Never. Even to this day. Then I wake up and reality snaps back into focus. And I remember this feeling much more than the dream itself, this feeling of profound loss. Kind of like someone had died, only instead someone had never been born. Their existence removed from my world forever. We all want to fly. And sometimes we do. But never long enough. Just 30 more minutes. Just 10 more minutes.